Do you really think it was a good idea to borrow Karnweir for this scene? Well, Bishop doesn't know anything. He lies at the beach and enjoys the sun, cool drinks, and hot girls. What else could he want? Yeah, you're probably right. Someone needs to look after the wolf anyway. Freya, more to the right. And don't make such a long face. Who would want to buy the wine you got in your basket if you look like it's raining cats and dogs, huh? Uh, it's Carnvir's fault. His breath smells like goats. Uh, 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 don't say it. I don't want to hear it. It's enough Bishop is whining constantly lately. Don't you start too. Well, one or two new main characters for all of your new ideas might not be too bad. Freya and Bishop can't do everything alone. You made him work real hard for Rigmore of Ruma already. And Freya didn't just sit on her butt in Enderol either, you know. Are you stabbing me in the back now, too? And what does that mean exactly? You made him work so hard. The guy got to act in one romantic scene after another. I didn't hear him complaining at the time. And Freya was with that chill, uh, singing, smoking... Uh, what was his name again? Jespar. Okay, well, I guess the guy was kind of cute. Freya, concentrate. Uh, yeah, exactly, that. In the end, they even ran away together. Oh yeah, there were definitely some great scenes in both series. Oh great, and now I sit in the freaking forest looking this stupid wolf in the eyes while Bishop gets to be at the beach with Lydia. If you would work more professionally, we would already be home in White Run. I have more things to do today as well, you know. Freya, did you just say Lydia? Yeah. Don't look at me like that. I thought it would be practical. We don't have to deal with her for a while, and Bishop has company. Someone to get him drinks, smear sunblock on his back, uh, someone to do, uh, well, uh, whatever. Well, I think we can be happy if Lydia survives and we don't get chopped into pieces when he's back. Not even mentioning the thing with Karnweir. Oh, come on, how bad could it possibly be? Where we left him, there was only beech and palm trees as far as the eye could see. If necessary, he sends her to one of the other islands. Uh, but let's move on from here, all right? Time is money. Yes, and the sun is going down, too. Freya, what's the matter now? I don't know what Bishop does with him, but Carnvir just doesn't do what he's supposed to. Would you prefer working with a wild wolf? Oh, please, let me just go and get one for you. No problem, I'll just drop everything and go. Stay away, you crazy! I am sworn to carry your burdens. I think you're in trouble, Lou. I think so, too. How the hell does the Dragonborn put up with you? Huh, Louis Chorizan! We will see about that. What on earth are you two doing here? How did you even... What the hell were you thinking, sending this crazy person along with me? What do you need, my friend? There! It's like this all the time! Five days in a row now! She's like a broken record or something! How can I argue with Lydia, that? Lydia, deep breaths. Deep breaths. Think about what you want to say. We heading out? I can't take it anymore! <laughs> hey, Conway, there's a sight for sore eyes. What are you doing here? And why is Freya in a Little Red Riding Hood costume? Well, we thought... Oh, so you thought I would babysit your parrot in the middle of my well-deserved holiday? And then you take Carnweir to do some stupid scene? It's not just a stupid scene, Bishop, just because you're not in it. You may be relaxing and having fun at the beach, but we... 
Still need to earn some money. Capisce? Relax? Fun? Yeah, I don't think those are anywhere in Lydia's half a page of script. She won't even talk about how great I am, or take off any clothes. Still need me to do something? <sighs> I'm getting a headache from this! How about I take Carnweir, and we go back into the woods... I mean, anything at this point is better than being stuck on an island with Lydia. Just like that. Well, Bishop, you can't say we haven't given you some pretty good roles lately. You didn't have a good time filming Skyrim Romance? How about Rigmore of Bruma? The way you looked at that girl seemed to me you were enjoying yourself plenty. And besides that, for once you got to be Dragonborn. So please stop complaining! Lou, relax. He didn't mean it. Man, what's that supposed to mean, he didn't mean it? You can't just disappear, my friend. You are under contract. God damn it! Okay, if he doesn't like it, then he can play Little Red Riding Hood in the future. Then at least we'll have a wolf that does what he's supposed to. Oh great, then I can start practicing for Ender All Forgotten Stories instead. Well, this is not Make-A-Wish. And besides, I'm not even sure I'm going to give you a role again after what you did in Enderall. Uh, lest we forget, uh, let me refresh your memory. Uh, running off with the airship and uh, not to mention the very high price we paid to get you back, my dear. But I only did the ending with Jespar the way I did because you wanted me to leave him behind. You can't ask that of me. Not after what we've been through. That is what happens when you get too far into the part. And you can't separate a business from pleasure. What kind of amateurs am I surrounded with? Ugh. Colin, please deal with this for me. I just can't do it anymore. Why did I ever come to Skyrim in the first place if I just stayed at home with my computer? <gasps> there at least I can edit out the parts I don't like. Tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. meeting. For everyone. Damn. She's kind of cute when she's angry. Well, if you say so.